whatever principles that we discuss, decentralization, reduction of uh, solid waste at the source itself, segregation, all these have been put under one uh, conceptual framework which is known as integrated solid waste management. This is recently being introduced, it was there from the beginning itself, but it was recently given a name under uh, CPHEEO manual 2016 and under solid waste management rules uh, 2016. So the basic principle is again, uh, minimum amount of waste should go to the landfill. It's an inverted pyramid sort of a uh, framework. You have to segregate, reduce, recycle at as much as possible before you are releasing everything into the landfill. So this is an integrated solid waste management framework. Under this again as I said that you have to add source minimization, you have to do. One thing which I want to draw your attention is extended producer responsibility through brand auditing. Are you aware of this term? Extended uh, producer responsibility? No. Extended producer responsibility is the uh, extended, uh, uh, what we call it, responsibility given to the producer. Like, like just I quote an example of Flipkart only. I mean, they are using a lot of packing material. So, and I won't say like they are managing it, but there should be a responsibility of these people that what happens to this packaging material waste. So, if, if they are managing it, then they are adding to their extended producer responsibility. Right, right. I hope you so was it clear? So it's like uh, when you buy something uh, like for example a packet of lace. Okay, you pay for the product, you don't pay for the wrapping or the wrapper. So that's what they say. I think what are, these are the claims of uh, people who ever you know, propose this phenomenon, this concept. So what they do is that you want the producer to take the responsibility of managing this waste. And how do you do that? So for that, there is one exercise which, which was done uh, in different parts of India for different cities uh, which is called uh, brand auditing. Brand auditing. So we tried this thing in Kerala. So what we did is that we have aerobic bins. Okay, and there are uh, plastic and other kind of waste is being deposited by the household. So what we do is that we sort waste according to the brands like how many packets of Lay's are being or chips are being you know from a particular brand say Lay's or other kind of uncle chips and different kind of thing and how many uh, packets of waste are from uh, local producers or international brands and then we weigh them and then we find, found, uh, then we find the weight of that and then accordingly we, can, we want to tell the producer that you're, you are producing this much waste you should be taking responsibility of that. So that is what is known as brand auditing. Okay, so this, this is a report that was released on uh, 5th of June, uh, this environment day. You can find it on uh, internet actually. And there are other uh, things that you can do to reduce, uh, you know, uh, usage of such kind of material. Segregation I have spoken about before. So there is a three bin system for wet, dry and domestic uh, hazardous waste which is collected in black container. I think most of the bigger cities have started to adopt uh, this particular uh, model of uh, segregation. Collection and transportation. So there are two kind of collections can happen. One is primary and another is secondary. Primary is directly from the household or the, uh, or the producer and secondary which is from the community bins, waste storage depots, transfer stations. Like in Alapi, you have secondary system of collection. So households have to deposit their waste in a community bin or aerobic bin and from there the municipality takes care of the uh, uh, waste. And in other cities you might, found that, might find that collection is happening at the household level. So these are the two basic uh, types of collection systems that the cities can adopt. So primary type can work for the small larger towns and this type can work in all the cities that is needed. Recycling, I don't have to tell you what are the benefits of recycling, right? Uh, material recovery. So this is the thing that we were talking about. How do you recover different types of material? Okay, I'm going to talk about, this is the material recovery facility which is in Trivandrum for plastic waste. 
Okay, so what they do is that all the plastic weights come to this particular facility and what they do is that whatever is the recyclable plastic is shredded and is then sell at 20 INR per kg to the uh, uh, to making for making the roads to mix it with bitumen. So this is MRF facility for the plastic waste. Similar kind of MRF facility you can have for other kind of waste like batteries, aluminium and all kind of things you can have. These are the options for treating and utilizing different kind of municipal solid waste management. Okay. Uh, biodegradable waste can be managed through composting. Everybody knows what, are, what is composting, right? And then there is another process called biomethanation through which biogas is produced. And you can use it for cooking and heating purposes and other kind of purposes. Combustion is another process which is used for non-biodegradable uh, uh, waste. Uh, in India, um, there are three methods for that, gasification, incineration and py pyrolysis. In India, incineration is most famous. Uh, other two are still being uh, tried and tested. There, there is no proven technology that kind of fits Indian condition because India is quite humid in that sense. So you need to maintain certain kind of temperature. That is one thing and the second thing is that for these two methods, gasification and pyrolysis, you need to have a well sorted waste which is not possible in Indian cities. No matter how much you segregate, there will be issues. Okay. Do I need to explain to you what is composting? Sure? Yes. Oh great. My work is reduced. So we have four different types of composting technologies. I am not going to explain to you or do you want me to explain? I can show you the graphs. So I not photographs, photographs. So this is windrow composting. I think one of the participants mentioned that they have windrow. Yeah. So can you explain a little bit more about it? Just shortly. So windrow is basically they will have yards. Uh, maybe covered. It's, it's, it's covered in my case. They have sheds, ah. and uh, they will uh, segregated organic waste is. Uh, uh, layered with the cow dung or other organic material which is collected from the uh, uh, place and they will, uh, there is a cycle, uh, uh, they will activate the compost uh, with some uh, inputs or uh, vermi compost and other thing and then they will, uh, uh, like 45 days, they will uh, turn the uh, waste. So after this is complete, uh, they will uh, uh, sieve it for other solid metal or something and then they will directly apply it. So, which city are you talking no, about? No, I am talking about uh, town panchayat in Coimbatore. Okay. So, are there any other examples in your city which you are like using uh, vermi composting? Uh, this is the bin composting that we have in Trivandrum and it is there in Alapi also. Okay. And this is the pipe composting which is meant for households. So this is, uh, yeah, pipe composting I was talking about. Pipe composting is, it was tried in Alapi in the city, uh, which is suitable for household level. Because in Alapi, as I said, that they don't have much of land available. So they wanted to uh, process the biodegradable waste, uh, whatever the constraints of land were there. So this was the pipe composting that they tried. And Shridhar is going to talk about that if it succeeded or failed uh, in here, in, in this context. Uh, this is a summary of uh, compost technology. It actually talks about what should be the scale where you can, uh, you know, uh, employ different kind of technology. Like windrow and in vessel could be large scale, uh, where you have you have to deal with large scale biodegradable waste. And vermi composting is obviously small, but vermi composting is very temperature sensitive, uh, you know, technology, and you need experts for that. Uh, so these are the different uh, methods and appropriate bits of different methods for that.